Hello Ed to me and today we're going to be carrying on with our series about plants looking at the structure of flowers. Firstly, before we have a look at our flowers, let's have a recap of our plant experiment. This is our plant with no water. He hasn't really grown very much, but that was to be expected. We've also got our plant that had no light. Now, he did grow, he grew white though, and he's kind of died back a bit now. And he's not looking very healthy. But this is our plant with water and light. Look at him. Let's have a look at the actual anatomy of a flower now. This is a classic biological diagram that you might see. Underneath you've got the sepals which initially cover and protect the bud but which open out when the petals open out. Inside you've got the stamen and the stigma which are both the male and female reproductive organs of the plant. The stamen produces pollen and the stigma is the female part from which the seed grows. We're here in the garden and I found a lovely flower which should show us perfectly what's going on. Trisha, yes. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about with flowers. So would you be able to explain it to me? Sure. Here's the rhododendron. My first question, Tristram, would be, what are these things here? Well, those are the stigmas, which are the female parts of the plant. Okay, and that would make these... The stamen, which are the male parts. Okay. And I've always wondered why flowers, and in particular their petals, are such pretty colours. Well, that's to attract insects, which are the pollinators. And if you look up here, you can just see the sepals, which protect the buds. I've got here a flower that I've cut in half. Why don't you have a go at naming the parts? Okay, so this is the stigma. These are the stamen. These are the petals. And that is the sepal. I'm impressed. I know, I impressed myself. Oh. I've learned so much today, so thank you very much, Tristram. That's fine. And next time, we're going to be having a look at pollination. So I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's have a recap of our plant experiment. This is our plant with no water. We've also got our plant that had no light. This is our plant with water and light.